Hello guys, that's here back again with another video. So today I'm going to show you an in-depth review of SmartWake. So I included this app in uh, best Android apps of March 2017 and now I decided to make a review of it because I think it's worth checking it out. So without further ado, let's get started. So uh, first of all, the app is free but if you want to unlock all of its features you can always do that by paying a uh, half euro and a half which is almost the same amount in dollars. So for me the best feature of the app is rest wake, I'm constantly using it and I uh, don't feel a significant, significant difference in the battery. You can always pause the video to see every option there is over here because if I go through every one of it the video will become at least 30 minutes. So uh, the only downside of this option is that uh, when you're in a car and it is uh, constantly turning the display on thinking that you're picking up the phone every like 5 or 10 seconds so if you're going for a ride be sure to turn the app off if you want to have battery when you arrive there is also an option as you can see that turns the app off when it's connected to a car via a usb but since i'm using a bluetooth to connect to mine at least for now i have to turn it off every time i go to trips so you can always turn down the sensitivity but below 40 percent at least uh, with my usage it's not turning on every time when I pick it up so uh, the next option is called air control uh, it turns the display on by simply waving your hand over the proximity sensor also there is an option uh, called uh, air sleep so when uh, the phone is put on a flat surface you just wave your hand over the phone to turn the screen off the third option is uh, tilt control which I don't uh, find any sense in given the other options you have in the app but probably there is someone who is going to use it it turns the screen on when you rotate the phone down and back which is kind of useless at least for me when there is an option to turn the screen on by picking the phone up uh, so the fourth option is called uh, wake on notification uh, which makes your phone uh, as soon as you receive a notification so you can always uh, blacklist uh, certain applications from waking up your phone so that uh, when you receive a notification it doesn't uh, it don't turn on the screen you also have to allow notification access which I have done so here are the options over here so uh, the next one is called sleeping packet and when it's enabled it turns the screen off when uh, the proximity sensor is covered the last option is sleep on table and it switches the screen off when you place your phone on a flat surface so uh, you can see the other options over here uh, I didn't... so uh, the last one are the energy options and over here you can uh, pause the video and take a look at them for yourself and not because I'm lazy but because the video is actually uh, not uh, going to be that short so uh, thank you for watching guys uh, be sure to click that uh, subscribe button it's free it helps me a lot so, so subscribe and check my other video probably over there you will see something that you're going to be interested in so uh, again, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye.